Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com Today in this video we are going to talk about how we can work with the different browsers Okay so in the previous video we have already discussed how we can install Visual Studio how we can install Selenium and how to start with the Chrome browser default Now the question comes how to work with the other browsers So now company generally works on the different browsers right they don't depend on a single browser so you should know how to work with the different browsers also so these are the three most popular browser which is chrome gecko driver which is nothing but firefox and the i browser in case you are working with opera and safari then selenium is not that compatible with opera and safari so we'll stick to uh, chrome firefox and i so how to get started with uh, other drivers again i will go back to our visual studio now in the previous video we discussed about the chrome we download the chrome driver in order to work with firefox again i will go back to tools i will go to nuget package manager and uh, manage nuget packages and this time i will search for gecko driver you can see it is giving me suggestions okay so you select the second option which is uh, not the second third one okay which says selenium dot web driver dot gecko driver what it will do it will download for all the operating systems okay so what i will do i will just and you can see it is currently the latest version is 0.21.0 and just to update you my current version of firefox is firefox 61 okay so i'm using the latest gecko driver version when i click on install it will take some time and yes to all few unsaved file was there so it was asking me do you want to save it so i said yes to all and now we'll search for internet explorer okay so let's see what all options we have so one is this and one more we have which is selenium dot web driver dot i driver and let's see few more if we have yeah so you can see this word selenium dot web driver dot i driver same thing just go here and uh, click on install it will install this driver as well and yes yes to all and this is also successfully installed now you can go back to your program so just go to your program.cs and now let's try changing this to firefox driver okay again it will give you options just click on this and import openqa.selenium.firefox okay so just right click okay just directly start from here or you can press ctrl f5 so it will start your session on firefox okay you will see a command prompt opened and it will do the same step okay so our program is done we executed on firefox as well and it is succeeded same thing we will can do for internet explorer driver okay now again it will ask you what is this so just click on this and import openqa.selenium.ie and now let's try to run the same thing using control f5 now it started in i driver as well okay so this is how you can continue with other browsers as well now in i browser we have some settings okay sometimes if that settings are not done it might throw some exceptions so i already have a detailed article on this i will show you which is issues with i driver or i browser in selenium web driver you will get my first or you will get my link which is learnautomation.com and majorly you will get three issues one is your browser zooming setting issue 
if your browser is zooming le level is not set to 100% it might throw some exception plus in case if all these security zones are not either enabled or disabled it will throw exception you can see all are enabled as of now so selenium says either all should be enabled or all should be disabled so if these settings are not done it will throw exception okay, so i have documented them here so in case if you want to go through it okay just go through it and in case if you face any other issues you can let me know in the comment section okay and that's a very small video because nothing much to cover this just download the driver and it will start automatically and in case if you want to cross verify just go here and check again your package.config file you will see these packages got installed with the different versions okay and if you go back to the directory okay this is our packages right so gecko driver also came for uh, all these platforms and uh, i driver since i only works with uh, windows so you will not get options for mac and linux okay. so that's all i have for this video if you like this video you can hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you so much guys have a nice day bye bye